as a Scotswoman, I tend to give putts a good whack. So I really need all the help I can to, to slow it down and maintain that beautiful rhythm. Brad putting, the game within the game. Yes. Mr. Arnold Palmer, you know, a master on the green. What can you share with us, impart some of the knowledge that you picked up from him? Well, I think putting is more a mind game than anything else. And you see all sorts of different ways that people are attempting to strike the golf ball with their putting strokes. So it's really how well are you reading the greens, number one. And Arnold was a, a walker. He would walk to the hole and come back again. And we, he would read the putt with his feet. He would kind of sense the slopes and the undulations by just walking it. Now, this can be done relatively quickly. It doesn't okay. have to be something that we're doing, um, taking a lot of time to do this. We're briskly walking down and feeling that it's all downhill. Then he'd stop at the low point, like where I'm at right here. So he would basically read going back up mm -hmm. based on being at the lowest point, And then he'd walk it back up again and just get a sense of how much uphill it is with yeah. our walking. You've got to see that 360 view, and then almost subliminally, you pick up the information exactly. that you need. And then it's trust your feet, trust your feels, trust your eyes. And a big part of, of making putts, I believe, is being able to trust your eyes. Now, yeah. as far as his stroke was concerned, he was kind of a popper. Arnold kind of locked everything in, knees together, and just kind of popped it this way and kept the putter really low to the ground, made a good solid strike every single time. As the greens got faster and faster, he got more challenged with his ability to control speed because he had a lot of a hit in the putt. Right. And so one of the things that Ian Baker Finch taught me, who is a great putter, one of my dear friends and a wonderful putter of the golf ball, on fast greens, this is a great tip for you. He said, visualize that your shaft is made out of a thin piece of lead crystal and the head is made out of a heavy piece of lead and the goal is not to break the shaft. Uh -huh. So with that concept, you would kind of keep it nice and rhythmic going back and through. You couldn't stop at the ball because if you did, the snap. momentum would snap it. If you took it away too quickly, it would jerk and break it. So it has helped me a ton when it comes to having good rhythm and good pace control on fast greens. That's a fantastic visual. Something I definitely need help with. As a Scotswoman, I tend to give putts a good whack. So I really need all the help I can to, to slow it down and maintain that beautiful rhythm. So let me bring in that second visual and see if I can get a nice pace on these quick greens. I had a nice smooth rhythm to it, excellent. Good. Good control right there. You're within three feet. You gave it a nice go. You missed it on the high side. I yeah. love that. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. Obviously, you want to get it up past the hole. Never up, never in, as they say. How much has technology changed since Arnold Palmer was putting? Oh, it's changed a lot. Yeah? Yeah, and he had a little bit of a concern about it, how the game has become so much a putting competition, uh, especially at Augusta National. And, you know, when they first started playing there, the greens were stepping eight, nine maybe. There's a ton of slope on it, so they putt a lot faster than that. Yes. But now they're 13, 14, sometimes even 15 on that slope. It is amazing how good your, your touch has to be. You almost just have to tickle the ball. Tickle, exactly right. Yeah, that had a real good rhythm to the stroke. Because often putts, they build acceleration as they go, so you just have to send them on their way. But I really was thinking about that crystal shaft with the weight at the bottom. It's a beautiful image, it's a great along image. with reading with the feet. So Brad, thank you for sharing those My tips My pleasure, yeah, it was really good. Very helpful indeed.